everybody, welcome to this Vinyasa class. We are going to build up towards uh, the full hip, uh, hip pigeon pose, the full uh, Ekapadara Jakapotasana. And for this we need next to us two blocks, or if you don't have the blocks, books, big stuff, big stuff that you can use under your palms or under your shoulders. And also a strap. If you don't have a strap, a belt is working just fine. Also uh, the bathrobe, the cordon from it, is very, very helpful. So anything that can give the extension in between the arms and it's quite solid, you don't break it. Good, we are going to start into a child pose using our blocks or our books. Place them in front of you. Allow your hips to come down to your heels. Shoulders width apart in between the blocks. Elbows on top of them, palms together, coming behind your head and allowing your chest and your head to come down towards the mat. Stay here and breathe. Start connecting with your breath. Connecting with the flow inside of you. With your body and your mind. Connect with your energy. Follow the breath, pay attention to every single movement inside of you on every inhale and every exhale. Notice the sensations arising. Notice the space that is already being created with every single breath. Start going up into your mind, finding the flow of your, your ideas, your thoughts. And start placing them one by each one to the side. Creating silence. Creating a space of relaxation. Find your intention once you're ready. Find your mantra. Take a deep inhalation, breathe into your intention. Exhale gently. One more deep inhale. Exhale to slowly open your eyes, to find your gaze, press down into your elbows, release your palms, and slowly start coming up. Place the blocks in one side, release your mat, and find your tabletop. Palms under the shoulders, knees are under the hips, we'll start to gently get in cows. So on inhalation, drop your belly, open your heart, look up. On exhale, round your spine, chin to chest. Inhale to extend. Exhale to round. Keep going, long inhalations. Fluid into your spine. Smooth exhalation. Strong into the front part of your body. 
Inhale, extend. Exhale, flex and squeeze. One more inhalation. One more exhale. Slowly come back to center. Keep your knees exactly under your hips. Walk your hands in front of you. And allow your chest to come gently down towards the mat. Anahatasana or our puppy pose. Look towards the front of the mat, press into your palms, inhale, start rounding your spine, chin to chest, tuck your tailbone, exhale to lower down, open the heart, inhale to press down, to activate, to pull the palms towards your knees, exhale, to mount down to the mat, one more inhale, one more exhale, stay here for one more deep inhale and exhale, Look towards the top of the mat, glide your body down all the way into your sphinx. Squeeze your elbows under the shoulders, press the palms down onto the mat. Start reaching out with your chest, pulling your heart forward towards the top of the mat. Chin is proud. The crown of the head is reaching towards the sky. Stay active in your sphinx. You can close your eyes if you wish. Remember when we close our eyes, we start feeling more, we start exploring. You can make here or if you want something deeper, arms outside at the corners of the mat, lift up and seal and adjust your position on how it fits you, how it fits your body today, in this moment. One more inhalation here. Exhale slowly lower down all the way into the mat. Palms are coming next to your heart. Keep the toes untucked, pressing down onto the floor. Push your body down into a child pose. On inhalation, round forward, chin to chest into a very angry cat. On exhale, drop your belly, open your heart, lie back, child pose. Two more times, inhale forward, round. Exhale towards the back. Open the heart. One more inhale. One more exhale. Look towards the front, tuck your toes, push your hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Stay here for a couple of breaths, paddling your feet, moving into your toes, relaxing and relaxing. Finding the connections to the ground. When you're ready for the stillness, start connecting palms with the ground, feet with your mat, the energy points that are bringing us down towards the ground, allowing us to pull up whatever we need from the ground and to let go of everything that we want to put on the side. Stay in your downward dog shape, keep pressing into the index knuckle, keep pressing down into your palms, into the heel of the palms, and trying to wrap your triceps towards the ears. Think about your armpits, they're like light bulbs that are looking towards each other. You have space in between your neck and your shoulders. You have a long spine with the tailbone pointing to the sky. If the legs are not straight and the heels are quite high up, high up, you might feel better with a gentle bend into your knees. Take an inhalation here, come high on your toes, lift your heels up. Keep your downward dog shape on exhale, bend into your knees, try to touch 
your rib cage towards your upper thighs to really push into your arms. Inhale up, stay high on your toes. Exhale, bend and connect. One more inhale, one more exhale. Inhale to extend your legs, start rolling forward all the way into plank. On exhale, bend your knees forward and push your hips up and back. Inhale, high on your toes. Ripple your spine forward like a wave. Exhale, towards the back. One more long inhalation, squeezing your abdomen, pushing into a straight line. One exhalation, gliding back to downward facing dog. Inhale to come high on your toes, roll your spine forward all the way towards the top. Keep your chin into chest, start allowing your hips to drop. Opening from the lower back all the way to the upper back and releasing your chin when you're ready. Take a deep inhalation here. On exhale, reverse the move. Chin is coming into chest. Start rolling your shoulder, your upper back, your middle back, your lower back. All the way up to the other facing dog. We'll do this one more time. Inhale, high on your toes. Chin to chest, ripple your spine forward all the way to the top. Allow your hips to drop. Going through every vertebra until you find this floating dog. Take a deep inhalation here. On exhale, chin to chest, run from your upper spine, middle spine, all the way to your lower spine. To find your downward facing dog. Inhale, down to come high on your toes, you roll your spine forward, find your plank. On exhale, lower all the way down to the ground. Palms next to your heart, elbows in. Push your feet towards each other and down into the ground. Inhale up to cobra. Exhale to lower down. Two more times. Inhale. Find your bhujangasana. Exhale lower. Last one. Inhale. Last one. Exhale. Tap into your toes. Push your hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Take a moment here, reconnect, find your breath once again. On inhalation, come higher on your toes. Again, keep your downward dog shape. Squeeze your navel in on exhale. Bring your heels down towards the right side. Take a long inhalation. Bend into your knees. Release your left palm. It will start floating. On exhale, find your side stretch. Lift your hips higher than your shoulder. Really extending the left side of your body. Inhale to bend into your knees. On exhale, left arm behind your head. Lift up once again. Last one, inhale to lower the hips down. This time on exhale, send your left arm towards the top of the mat. Bend into your left knee. Find your wild feet. Slowly come back to center, downward facing dog. Inhale to roll your spine forward all the way to plank. Let's reset and exhale, bend your knees forward and push back. Stay here, take an inhalation, come high on your toes. Exhale, bring your heels down towards the left side. Inhale to bend into your knees, right palm starts to float. Exhale, stretch your side body. Inhale to bend, right palm is coming behind the head. Exhale, lift up. One more inhalation. On exhale, place your right foot behind you, open your heart, wall thing. Inhale to come back to center. Downward facing dog. Exhale here. Inhale to roll all the way to the top of the mat. Exhale, come down towards the floor. Inhale up to cobra. On exhalation, lower down. Tap the toes. Push your hips up and back. Downward facing dog. 
Take for a few moments to breathe. Take an inhale, thumb hang on your toes, lift your heels up. Roll your spine forward all the way towards the top. Keep your chin into your chest, allow your hips to drop. Find this floating dog. Inhale here, engage your right glute, lift your right leg up. Exhale, three leg dog. Beautiful, bend into your right knee, open your hip. Long inhalation. Exhale, step your right foot outside of the right hand. Bring the left knee down onto the floor. Keep your left palm down. Inhale, right arm is going back to point towards the back toes. Stay for exhalation. And let's move here. On inhalation, right arm is coming forward. Hips over your left knee. Bring your body down. Extend your right leg. This variation of half split. Exhale to twist your lizard. Inhale forward. Towards half split. Exhale towards the back. One more time long inhalation. One more time smooth exhalation. Stay here for a moment. If you wish, you can bend the back knee. Take hold of your foot. Really press the foot with the glue together. And when you're ready, allow your hips to fall a little bit more. If you have the flexibility and the openness, you can try to come down onto your left forearm. Take one more inhalation. Exhale slowly to release your left leg. Bring the right palm down, left palm down. Tuck your back toes. Step your foot towards the back. Plank pose. Take an inhalation here. On exhale, knee chest and chin at the same time. Inhale to glide forward. All the way into the upper toes. Press down into your feet. Open your heart. Exhale to lift your hips up and back. Down or facing dog. Take a moment to breathe. Inhale to come high on your toes. Ripple your spine forward towards the plank. Keep your chin to chest. Allow your hips to drop. Floating dog. Start squeezing into your left glute this time. Lift your left foot up and point it all the way up and back. Three left toes. Bend into your left knee, open your hip. Take a deep inhale. On exhale, step your left foot outside of your left hand. Ground into your right knee, open your hip. Lift your left arm up and take it towards the back. Inhale to reach forward. Find your half split. Moving the hips over your right knee, left leg is back. Exhale, all the way towards the back. Twist and reach towards the back foot. Inhale forward. Extend your hamstring on the left side. Exhale towards the back. Find your hip flexor on the right. One more long inhalation. And smooth exhalation. You have the option of staying here or bending into your knee to take hold of the foot, move the glutes back or to connect the heel and when you're ready to glide forward to drop a little bit more, find the depth that fits you. Maybe you come down to your forearm. Take one more deep inhale. On exhale, slowly release your back leg, palms down to the floor, press into your palms, step the back toes, step back into plank. Lower down, knees, chest and chin. Inhale forward into a beautiful upper dog, opening the heart, engaging the inner thighs. Exhale, up and back. Down the facing dog. Stay here for a moment, keep breathing. Look towards the top of the mat, come high on your toes, keep the position of your body, keep squeezing your navel in and start tippy-toeing all the way towards the top. 
small little tiny steps until you reach forward. Once you're there, you keep to the part and allow your body to be floppy, to be heavy. Bend gently into your knees. Take hold of your elbows and rock from one side to another. Release your arms down to the ground. Stay here for one more breath. Good. Place your palms onto your shins. Inhale to reach your heart forward. Extend the crown of the head. Exhale to bring the belly down towards the leg. Inhale forward into a flat back. Exhale to connect with your bodies. One more inhale. One more exhale. Take hold of your big toes, the second and your third finger. Inhale to extend your chest forward. On exhalation, bring your belly down. Then bend your lower ribs, upper ribs, connecting with your legs for Pada, pada Mustasana. Breathe into your hamstrings, breathe into your lower back. Keep sending the crown of the head down towards the ground. Inhale into a flat back. On exhalation, slide the palms under your feet. Try as much as possible to connect your toes with the front part of the with the uh, with the wrist. Trying to touch, massage your wrist with your toes. Take an inhalation here. On exhale, lower all the way down, connecting once again. Keep the knees bent. If you feel that you are quite far away from the legs, bend into your knees. Inhale, slowly flat back, release your palms. Exhale, just relax into the forward fold. Take your belt or your rope or the strap if you have one. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, be here. Good, we are going to play with our shoulders to go for the full kid pigeon. We need open shoulders and quite mobile. So what I have to do is to close the shoulders with the strap. You have two options. With a long strap, bring the arms as wide as you need to. You'll know what the distance is once we start moving the arms. For myself, I like to bend the strap to keep it in two. And to start from the corners of the strap. From here, pay attention to the rib cage all the time. I will stay in my side to show you first what happens with the rib cage. Take an inhalation here, arms are in front of you. Exhale. Lower ribs are coming in, trying as much as possible to keep a flat front part of the body. Inhale to reach our arms up, lift your shoulders up towards your ears. On exhalation, squeeze your shoulder blades behind and lower the arms down. Lower ribs are still in. We are trying to avoid this movement of the chest. Because when we do this, instead of taking the rotation into the shoulder blades, we're moving with the rib cage and the shoulders are still stiff. So focus, lower ribs are connected to the hip point. Inhale here, start lifting up. Exhale, slowly lower down. Find the movement into your shoulders. So inhalation, reach forward, round your upper spine, create protraction into your shoulder blades. Start elevating the shoulders up towards the ears. Once you're up, once you're in the maximum, squeeze your shoulder blades behind into retraction and then lower them down, depressing, allowing the arms to come next to your hips. We reverse the movement, we squeeze the shoulder blades towards the back, we start lifting our shoulders to the ears, we create space in between the shoulder blades and we release. Let's do this a little bit faster. Inhale. And exhale, inhale up, exhale, go with your own flow, try to find the movement, go a little bit faster if you find the fluidity into the shoulder griddle. Good, 
you know when it's good for your body to come with the palms closer to each other. Even if you come closer, try as much as possible to keep the movement strictly in the shoulders. Work those muscles that are stabilizing us, that are helping in rotation, are called rotation half muscles. Keep going like this. Do this a few more times. The longer you do, the better it gets. The more openness you'll find into your shoulders. And the easier it will be. Good. Take three more. warm, a lot of heat coming into it, which is exactly what we want to have. Place the strap towards the side and let's come towards the top of the mat. Keep hips with the part of the here on inhalation, lift your arms up, look up, take a small back bend. On exhale, forward fold. Inhale into a flat back. On exhale, palms down, lift your right leg up into an L shape and step it all the way towards the back. Bring the right knee down to the floor. Inhale here, palms together, point your index. Stretch up towards the ceiling and back with your heart. Inhale slowly to release, palms next to your front to start. Step back to plank. Lower down, miss chest and chin. Inhale to glide forward into an upper dog. Exhale. Send your hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg is coming up to the sky. Step your right foot inside of your right hand. Ground into your left knee and tuck your toes. Find your Kali Mudra, pointing your index. Inhale up. Exhale towards the back. Slowly release the palms down to the ground, tap your back toes, float your left leg into an L shape and step it towards the top. Forward fold. Interlock your fingers in Kali Mudra, inhale all the way up and back. Exhale, palms to your heart. One more time for the left side, inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Fingertips are pressing into the ground, elongating your heart and lifting the left leg up. On exhale, step your left foot towards the back of the mat, left knee is coming down. This time, arms are staying apart, facing each other, lift up and back. Focus on your hips, the movement for the hips is forward and down towards the ground, while the chest is moving up, and towards the back. Bring the palms together, prayer pose. Bring the hands behind your head, pressing the elbows towards the ears. Take an inhalation here. On exhale, try to look up. Inhale slowly to release. Frame your front foot. Tuck your back toes. Step back to plank. Lower down, knees, chest and chin. Inhale to glide forward, forward into your upper dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Left leg, inhale, lift it up towards the sky. On exhale, knee into chest. Step your left foot inside of your left hand. Ground into your right knee and tuck your toes. Inhale, arms up. 
Anjaniyasana. Palms together, bend your elbows, place your hands behind your head. Squeeze your upper arms towards your ears, take an inhalation here. On exhale, look towards the back. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, palms down to the ground. Frame your front foot. Lift your right leg into an L shape. And lower it down towards the top of the mat, finding your forward fold. Inhale to interlock your fingers. Press your palms together. Lift into a back bend. Exhale, palms towards the heart. Samastitihi. Bring your feet together. Big toes are touching, slide up in between your heels. Inhale to bend your knees, lift your arms, chair pose. Take a deep inhalation here. On exhale, palms are coming to your heart. Twist towards the right side. Left elbow over your right knee, pressing the palms together. Twist the prayer into your chair. Look down towards your feet. Come high onto your right toes. Lift your right heel up. Take a deep inhalation. On exhale, right knee is coming into chest. Keep the connection between your left elbow and your right knee. You can stay here twisting your body. Or if you wish, you can take hold of your right foot outside of the foot. Extend it forward, right arm to the back. Inhale to reach your right arm towards the top. Maybe cross your arms, take hold of your right foot, folding over your right leg. Inhale, knee to chest, thumbs up. Exhale, warrior three. Glide your right foot towards the back, keeping your hips square. Maybe the arms squeezing towards each other. Keep opening your shoulders. Allow your left palm to come down to the floor or on top of blocks or books. Right arm is going straight up, half moon. Bend into the right knee. Maybe you stay here, maybe you can take hold of your right, of your right foot, pressing the foot into your palm, creating back extension for Ardha Chakvasana. Take one more inhalation here. Exhale to allow your right foot to go all the way down towards the back. Finding your warrior two. Open your arms to the side. Left knee is bent, align, aligning itself with the second and the front, uh, second and the third toe of the front foot. The front heel is aligned with the back, middle side of your foot. With the arch of your right leg. Stay here, stay low. Bring your left thumb over your head. Your right is coming in between your shoulder blades as high as it gets. Left palm takes hold of your right fingertips, squeezing them together. If you cannot touch your arms, hold your t-shirt as much as possible. Really squeeze into it or use the strap in between your arms. Take an inhalation here, keep the legs exactly where they are. On exhale, point your left elbow up to the sky. Reverse your warrior. Inhale to extend your front leg. On exhale, go a bit deeper. Inhale, slowly release your arms, extend them. On exhale, turn all the toes towards the right side. I'm going to change so you can see me. Take an inhalation here, palms onto your hips. Squeeze your elbows together, open your heart. On exhale, slowly lower down all the way to the floor. Inhale to push your chest forward, create a flat back. On exhalation, bring the body weight towards your toes, lowering as low as you can go. If you see that you are already there touching the floor, 
Bring the feet closer to each other and go deeper into a four fold. Press your right palm in the middle of the mat. Inhale, left arm up. On exhale, take it behind your waist. Maybe you connect with your right upper thigh and you go deeper into the twist. Release your left one, replace it. And right arm is going all the way up. Find your left upper thigh if you're there. Opening the shoulder. Going deeper. Inhale slowly back to center. Walk your hands towards the top of the mat, towards the left foot. Bring the arms behind you, interlock your fingers. Inhale to open your spine. On exhalation, forward fold inside of your left leg. Humble your warrior, allowing your shoulders to be opened by your arms. Take a deep inhale here. On exhale, palms down to the floor, frame your left foot, step back to plank. Lower down, knees, chest and chin. Inhale, all the way up into an upper dog. Press down into your arms. Extend your legs, squeeze the inner thighs. Exhale, move your hips up and back. Down or facing dog. Take a moment, breathe. Bring the knees down to the ground, keep your hips over your knees and walk your hands towards the front for a reset moment into your puppy. You might feel that your spine is warmer right now, connecting easier to the ground. Inhale to glide towards the top. Find your sphinx. Exhale, lower down. Keep pressing down into your feet. Inhale, press down into your palms. Squeeze your elbows in. Find your upper dog. Exhale, right leg is coming up all the way into three leg dog. If it's too much for your toes, flip your toes and send your right leg up. Take an inhale here. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Hold it. Inhale up. Exhale, right knee to left. Squeeze it in. This time, ground your back foot. Open your right leg to the side. Lift your left arm up. Falling triangle. Take a deep inhalation. On exhale, left palm is coming down, right knee to chest. Flip all the way to the opposite side. Place the foot down. Open your heart into wild thing. Inhale back to center. Right leg is going up and back. Keep it as high as you can. Look towards the palms. Bring the elbows down to the ground into a three leg dolphin. Stay here, engage your right glute, and kick your right leg up. Just fall safe, you don't need to go anywhere. You can continue with this for if you have a forearm balance in your practice. Kick up whenever you are ready. Slowly lower down. Bring both feet down to the floor. Press into your palms. Inhale to downward facing dog. Exhale here. Inhale right again. Up and back. 
On the exhale, to bring your right knee into chest, stepping your right foot inside of your right hand. Ground into your left knee. Close. Inhale, arms up. Anjaniyasana. Remember the movement of the hips. Forward and down. Movement of your heart. Up and to the back. Bring your right palm behind your shoulder blades, in between. Left arm up, takes hold of your right fingers. If you don't have your fingers, take hold of your t-shirt. Take an inhale here. On exhale, gentle back bend. Slowly back to center, both arms up. On exhalation, right palm is coming down next to your hip. If you cannot touch the floor, take a block or a book under your palm. Take an inhalation, extend the left fingertips up. On exhale, tilt towards the right side. Making sure you allocate to the hip flexor in the left. Find space, breathe into them. One more long inhale. Exhale, slowly come back to center. Place your palms on top of your knee, of your right knee, and protect your left knee. I like to double my mat over here because my knees are pressing really hard down into the ground. So it's a very nice option to double the mat or to take some sort of a cushion or a pillow or a blanket and place it under your knee. From here. Press down into your right knee with your palms. Keep your chest proud. Take an inhalation here. On exhale, bend into your left and pull the heel towards you. Active, you should feel the hamstring into the left side. The more you pull, the more chances are for you to get the cramp. Which is fine, <laughs> don't worry. Take an inhale here. When you have enough, Left palm is connecting to the left, the left foot, bringing the heel up towards the glute and allowing the hips to fall. Good. We can play with the breath here. Inhale, stretch your left leg as much as you can. Exhale, bend it and go deeper. Inhale to extend. Exhale, bend and descend. One more inhale. One more exhale. You can stay with one arm, or if you have the balance, you can take both behind, squeezing the foot behind you. Take one more inhalation. And exhale, slowly release your left leg. You can release the mat right now. Frame your front foot wiggly slightly forward, take an inhalation here. On exhale, hips are going over the left knee. Extend your right and find your half split. Inhale forward, extend, exhale towards the back, melt your chest to the ground. One more time, inhale here and exhale. A moment to breathe, to relax. If you want to go deeper into the split, make sure you hold yourself into your palms. You slide the right heel forward, then allow your hips to lower. Try as much as possible to keep your hip points still looking towards the top of the mat. Squeeze the inner thighs all the time. Take a deep inhalation. If you are in full split, press down into your palm and bring your foot closer. Find your half split first, move your body forward, tuck your back toes and find your plank. Lower down knees, chest and chin. Inhale into your upper dog, Urva Mukha. Exhale, look right up and back, downward facing dog. 
a moment. Breathe. Look towards the top of the mat, bend into your knees, choose your option. You can walk, step, float towards the top of the mat. Inhale into a flat back. On exhalation, forward fold. Bend into your knees, raise your arms, Utkatasana, chair pose. I will switch the side again to avoid showing my back too much. Take an inhalation here. On exhale, exhale, palms to your heart, twist towards the left side, right elbow over your left knee. Palms are coming with the thumb in the center of the chest. Try to push from your middle waist, from your lower hips. Keep your knees equally balanced, pressing into each other. Most of the time the right knee will try to come to the top. Bring it backwards. And look down towards your feet. Come high into your left toes. Take an inhalation here. Keep the connection in between your elbows and your left knee. Left knee. Lift up. Keep your twist. You can stay or if you wish to extend. Take hold of the outer edge of your foot. Left arm is coming towards the front. Cross over the right. Fall forward towards your left knee. Inhale, left knee into chest, arms up. Exhale, glide towards the back, warrior three. Squeeze your arms together, palms are facing up. Left glute is working. Take an inhalation here. On exhale, right arm down, left arm up. Ardha Chapasana, finding the balance. Keep your right palm on the ground or on top of the blocks. Bend into your left knee. Take hold of your foot. When you have the foot, extend the leg up. Keep the left foot into your left thigh. Release your left foot. Bend into your right knee and step all the way towards the back. Warrior two. Virabhadrasana P. Shoulders are strong. Inner thighs are working. Keep magnetizing the legs towards each other. Inhale to bring your right arm up. Exhale, left arm in between your shoulder blades. Bend into your right elbow. Take hold of your fingers. Keep pointing the right elbow up. Inhale here. On exhale, reverse your warrior. Extend your front leg, go deeper with the reverse. Inhale, up, release your arms. Exhale, turn your feet towards the left side. Inhale, palms on your hips, squeeze your elbows in. Exhale, lower all the way down to the floor. Palms are coming down. Bring the feet closer towards each other. Right palm takes hold of your left ankle. Left palm takes hold of your right ankle. From here, pull down into your left arm, squeeze your body in between your arms and twist. Slowly release. And change the side. Right arm is coming on top, taking hold of the ankle, pull down this time into your left arm and twist your body. Slowly 
slowly release your palms to the ground. Take a forward fold. We extend your spine to reset it, to elongate. Adjust your feet, go a little bit longer into your stand. Walk your hands towards the front of the mat, towards the right foot this time. Bring the palms together behind your back, interlock your fingers, inhale to open your heart. Exhale, humble your warrior. Inhale to release, frame your front foot, step back to plank. Exhale, knee, chest and chin. Inhale forward into your upper dog. Good. Exhale, downward facing dog. Once again, bring the knees down towards the ground. Find your puppy pose. You can stay here if, if you want to have a different variation, a little bit deeper from downward facing dog. Walk your hands slightly forward and allow your chest to come down. Maybe the forehead will come down to the ground. The more open you are, the closer your hands can come to you to bring the crown of the head down to the floor. Stretching your arms, your side body, your triceps and your serratus. If you are in this variation, bring your knees down to the ground. Find your puppy pose once again. Keep pressing down into your palms. Keep pressing down the chest towards the mat. Maybe the legs will extend. Slowly release. Inhale into Sphinx. Exhale. Stay here. Lower the body down to the mat. Tuck your toes. Push into your palms. Extend your legs. Squeezing your inner thighs. Inhale into this floating dog. Squeeze your left glute a little bit stronger. Point your toes and glide your left leg up and back. Three leg dog. Inhale here. Exhale. Left knee into your right elbow. Hold it. Inhale, left knee up. Exhale, again, left knee towards the right. Ground your back foot. Place your left foot down to the floor. Extend your right arm up. Right palm is coming down to the ground. Turn over the back toes. Left knee comes into chest. Flip your dog all the way to the opposite side, opening your heart for one thing. Inhale to come back to center. Plank pose. Exhale. Knees, chest and chin. Inhale into your upper dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Both elbows down towards the ground. This time left leg is going up and back. Good. Stay here. And just pulsate your left leg. Feeling your glutes stronger. You can keep doing this or floating into your pincha. Slowly release, both feet down, inhale into your downward facing dog. Again, left leg, inhale up and back. On exhale, left knee comes into chest. Step your left foot inside of your left hand. 
Drag into your right knee and tuck your toes. Inhale, arms up. Anjani Asana. Bring the left arm behind you. Bend your elbows, connect. Take the stretch. Maybe a small back bend over here. Inhale to slowly release, placing the left palm down outside of your left hip on a block or on the books. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, stretch and tilt towards the left side. Feel how your right side is elongating. One more inhale here. Exhale, slowly release, palms on top of your knee. Take care of your back leg. If you need to bend your mat, if you need to pad it, do all the necessary adjustments. When you're ready, we are meeting up on top of the left leg. Take an inhalation here. On exhale, we engage the right hamstring, pulling the heel towards the bar. Keep it active. Feel your muscles working, waking up. Take hold of your back foot and start breathing here. On inhalation, extend the leg, going deeper into your back bend. On exhale, bring the foot towards the glute, lowering down. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, to squeeze, to stretch your hip flexors. One more inhale. One more exhale. Maybe you can take hold with both arms. Take a deep inhalation. On exhale, slowly release the leg. Release the mat if you have it bent like me. Inhale to push your chest forward. To bend into your left knee. Exhale, find your half split. Left leg is straight, chest is coming down to the mat. Inhale forward, low into your lunge. Exhale, towards the back. One more time, inhale. One more time, exhale. Stay here and breathe, working and going deeper into your hamstrings on the left side. If you want to slide towards the full split, keep the connection, your mula bandha, your pelvic floor is active. One more inhalation. If you are in full split, on exhale, slowly come back towards the half split. Frame your front foot, tuck your back toes, step back into plank. Last time, lower down knees, chest, and chin. Inhale to guide forward, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a moment, breathe. On inhalation, right leg is going up to the sky. Exhale, bend into your right knee, pull the knee towards your right wrist, float that foot towards the side, and walk your left leg towards the back of the mat.
Stay high on your fingertips. Stretching a bit more on the left side. Take an inhalation here. On exhale, lower down either onto your elbows or all the way down to the ground. Finding a nice stretch into the right side of your glute, your IT band. Make sure you pay attention to your knees. If the knees are not comfortable, just get out of the pose. Or you can adjust the right foot, bring it closer to the left hip. It's very important to find out how much extended rotation you have into your, into your hips into your upper leg. If the external rotation is not there, the knee will be the one that will have to take over, that will compensate for the lack of rotation, and the knee is not supposed to rotate left and right. It has a very small movement, but it's only to adjust the impact when you are walking, jumping, moving, and so on. The knee is not supposed to externally or externally rotate. It's a hinge, it's rotating front and back, up and down. Take a deep inhalation here. On exhale, slowly come back up into your palms. Pull the left foot towards the glute. Take hold with the left palm inside of your left foot. Stay here, stay comfortable. Bring the foot down. Maybe you can bend into your elbow and point it up to stretch a little bit deeper. Let's breathe. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. One more exhale. Stay for a breath. If you're comfortable here, you can slide your foot inside of your left elbow and with the right arm, come behind your head and take hold of your fingers. Keep pointing your chest forward as much as you can. Slowly release. I'll show you the option for the full pigeon with the strap. In one side of the strap, create a loop or just make a knot or with the belt, hug it in. So you have this kind of loop to place it over your foot. From here, same palm, right or left palm is going over the shoulder. We are squaring forward as much as possible. If we find yourself that you are pulling towards the right side, Take one of the blocks or the books and place it under the right glute to keep you stable over here. Hold the step, bring both arms on top of the step and start working your palms towards the foot. Slowly release once you're ready. To learn how to flip the grip, same strap is extremely useful. Bend into your knee, take hold of the strap wherever it feels comfortable for you. It can be further away, it can be closer. From here, very important, activate your hamstring, pull the heel in. If you don't have the heel in, it's quite difficult from this this extension of the arm to actually flip the grip, to turn the elbows up. It's easier when the foot is closer to the shoulder. From here, keep hold of your step and just lift your elbow up. Slowly lower down, find the rotation in your shoulder. Do this a couple of times to get used to it. Maybe you come closer to the leg.
If you want to try the full grip, take hold of your foot in a C shape. So the thumb is coming on top of the foot. The four fingers are sliding under towards the big toe. Once we have this connection, tuck your toes, pull the heel in, pull the, the leg towards the shoulder, flip the grip, and don't forget to breathe all the time. Release the leg if you have it into the strap. Allow the right glute to come down towards the floor. Bring the left leg all the way towards the top. Step it over the right knee, left one behind you. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, twist your body. Look back over your left elbow, left shoulder. We kept talking about elbows. Now I say on the elbow. Inhale to come back to center. Exhale, gently fall to the opposite side. Inhale back to center. Bring your left leg towards the back. Palms down to the floor. Find your downward facing dog once again. Give yourself a few moments over here. Relax, especially the right leg that was bended under us. I really like to lift that right leg up. Walk on the hip. When you're ready to move towards the left side, take an inhalation, left leg is going up to the sky. On exhale, left knee towards the left wrist, foot towards the right, place it down and walk your right leg behind you. Make sure it's in line with the hip. Stay high, stay strong here. Keep your chest proud. Take a deep inhalation here. On exhale, slowly bring your elbows down to the floor or extend all the way into a sleeping swan. Find the stretch on the left side this time, your glute, your IT band. Make sure the knee is comfortable. You should really feel no pressure at all into your knee. If there is anything that feels weird, that gives you that moment of what's going on, just release the pose. Either adjust it with bringing the heel closer towards the right hip, or maybe come higher with the block under the left hip. Make sure the knees are safe. Slowly start releasing the pose, coming high onto the palms. I like to adjust the foot to bring it a little bit inwards to give me more stability. Bend into your right knee, take hold of your right foot from the inner part. Stretch it for a moment. And let's breathe. Inhale, expand it. Exhale, push the heel down. Maybe bend the elbow and lift it up. Find a deep stretch into the hip flexor of right side. Inhale to open. Exhale. Squeeze it in. One more inhale. One more exhale. Over here. Press it down. If you're comfortable, slide the foot inside of your elbow. Connect your arms and find a mermaid. Slowly let go. Take the strap or the belt. 
loosen up a bit so that we can slide inside. Place the strap over your foot and let's play with the strap, pulling the heel inwards, elbow up, take hold with both arms and walk your palms behind. Slowly release, hold the step somewhere where it's comfortable for your shoulder, pull the heel in, point your key points towards the top and start flipping the grip, holding onto the strap. Find the rotation into your shoulder, feel how your shoulder blade is moving. Once you're comfortable with this movement and you want to try the full grip, remember thumb is coming on top of your foot, the four fingers are traveling under towards the, uh, the big toe. Once you're here, bend into your foot to bring it closer towards the shoulder, hold, tucking your toes and lift up. Let go slowly, release your left glute down, bring the right leg towards the toe, release the step as well, place the foot over the left knee, right palm behind you, inhale, arm up, exhale, twist towards the right side. Inhale back to center. Exhale, fold towards the left. Inhale to center. Send both legs towards the top of the mat. Pull into your toes. Into your toes. Inhale, arms up. On exhale, fold over your legs. Doesn't matter how deep you go, think about your lower back creating space in between the vertebras, elongate it. One more breath here. Slowly start coming up. Make sure you have nothing behind you. Roll towards the back, knee to chest, flip over, bringing the toes over your head for the plow pose or halasana. Palms are down as long as your feet are down as well. If your feet are up into the air, support your lower back. Slowly start to let go. Palms are coming under your hips, facing the ground. Extend your legs to the top of the mat. Open your heart. Push down into your elbow. Inhale deeply. Exhale to release. Bring your knee to the chest and give yourself a nice good squeeze. Bring the knees down towards the left side, extending the right arm, looking towards the right.
inhale back to center, hug your knees into chest, exhale, let go to switch the sides. back to center, give yourself a nice good hug, you can keep your spine connected to the ground and just massage your lower back, move gently from one side to another, you can take a happy baby, if this gives you more elongation into your sacrum, into your tailbone, the lower back, keep moving, When you are ready, extend the legs towards the top of the mat. Let go to any engagement. Palms are next to the hips, facing up. Roll the shoulders under your back. And find your final relaxation, your Shavasana. Enjoy the Shavasana for at least six minutes. I'll give you the privacy for it. Thank you for joining me in this practice. Namaste.